Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well, Emma is here. This is a very short video that I'm gonna dedicate to how to make phrasing with energetic crescendo and not change anything dynamically. So you're probably asking now yourself, eh? what is energetic crescendo? So let me explain this to you. Energetic crescendo is how we sing the phrase and dynamic crescendo is how we control the sound. Uh, to start with, let me give you a little introduction, one more time, about how we create music. So we create music with this cross. Uh, there is a constant vertical line, which is our imagination. We imagine sound, and then horizontal line is how we actually connect this sound to the next sound, and we connect it with our singing. This is the space between notes where we create music, the music is created between sounds. So basically we imagine sound, we sing it horizontally to the next sound, and we're gonna imagine the next sound again, our vertical line, again sing. So imagine, sing, imagine, sing, imagine, sing, non-stop. And so this is imagine our um, vertical line is our imagination and this is our singing this is our energetic crescendo so mm, the crucial thing to understand that the vertical line and the horizontal line can be independent meaning that you can make energetic crescendo in your singing but still keep the sound on the same volume and let me now explain what I mean so if we are Let's say, take this motive and let's say we're gonna come to a uh, descending second. No, well, that's my interpretation. I, I wanna do this right now. And uh, if I sing it with energetic crescendo, it's gonna uh, sound this way. And so towards this main interval, I would feel like uh, my sound becomes more free and I feel more air and um, more more air in my lungs. <laughs> so one more time it sounds like <clears throat> Now we can have three ways of playing this motive. So the first one is the very simple one. A little bit bad, ta bad taste is when we're gonna make energetic and dynamic crescendo at the same time. Uh, so we'll sound this way. So this is happens when we definitely like not really control what we're imagining, and this is absolutely okay in the very first step when we try to feel the phrasing with energetic crescendo. N now. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next step when we're gonna make it a little bit more advanced, <laughs> we're gonna make energetic crescendo with uh, no dynamical changes. So we're gonna control with our imagination our sound, but yet in our singing we're gonna open up towards the main interval. And the last step, which I think is the more expressive, right now not every pianist uses it, but I, I think back in the beginning of the 20th century, the pianists loved that style. So when we make, an, when they make, we make whatever uh, energetic crescendo with dynamical dynamic. and this is you can find this a lot in the uh, music uh, by Liszt when you basically <laughs> something like this, so it, it's gonna sound this way <laughs> alright, um, you also can make actually uh, first interval as the main interval is ascending six and then this energetic and dynamic diminuendo would be also very very nice together and 
that sounds more peaceful. Like every time you start with the main valley go down, uh, that brings you this more peaceful and smooth line to your phrase. So anyway, there could be so many different variants of playing the phrasing, but uh, as I said, I basically made this video for my students who are a little bit puzzled about what is energetic Christian and how, how, what, what, what? <laughs> so now they know. Every time they ask me, I'm just like, okay, go watch this video. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Have a great day today and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.